everyone, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install PhotoFlyer. So we're going to be covering the Ubuntu instructions as most people use Ubuntu, but uh, instructions are here for every single distribution that's remotely relevant. So check that out in the description of the video. But to start the installation, you're going to need to add the PPA. And you can do that by just copying this command here. And uh, it will bring up a system uh, telling you what it is. You press enter. And then on newer Ubuntu systems, it will update. You may need to run the update command yourself. I always add that in there just in case because, you know, sometimes it doesn't automatically update. But uh, once that's done, you can go ahead and install PhotoFlare like so. And it's going to download from the repository quite easily. Uh, you know, it doesn't take too much time to get going. And then you can just open up your app menu, look for PhotoFlare, start it up, and you can start editing. I'm going to open up a wallpaper image, I think if I can find it, and we'll just see what we got here. So yeah, we, 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 can, we can load in our programs, we can do different edits and such. I'm not, a mass, I'm not a massive photo editor fan, but you know, you can change brightness, you can do all this different stuff. I don't really know what I'm doing, but if you were a, someone who needed a good photo editor, I would highly recommend PhotoFlare just because it seems to be pretty well put together. It's pretty easy to understand and there's lots of different controls here. And if I sat down, I could probably figure it out. Anyways guys, that's how to get PhotoFlare working on Linux. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.